But what I really wanted to share with you guys today was a technique that I've been trying to get to and I have been trying, had this in mind since last year. And I've been saving things. You know how I've talked to you guys about, I have a whole bag and my, my movers probably thought, what in the world? Uh, I have a whole bag of cardboard that I've saved. I do use them on crafting projects, but one of the main reasons I was saving it was for what I'm getting ready to show you. So here's just a basic piece of cardboard. And you might be saying, what's this? Well, this is how I decided to organize my ribbon because I was having trouble with it. I had put ribbon in um, like zip, the quart size Ziploc baggies and they're not big enough, y'all. They're just not big enough. And then I would put the baggies in a big basket and I'd pull it out. Well, that wasn't working for me. So then I decided what I wanted to do was I wanted to get, you remember these photo boxes? I used to use these for my scrapbooking all the time for photos, right? I'm like, why couldn't I use these type boxes to store my ribbon in? So what I did was um, I had my ribbon sorted by color and then I started, whenever I would go to Michael's, I would look for, uh, yes, I am going to wind the ribbon, girl, you got me. Um, I started picking up a couple every time I would go whenever they were on sale. And I had a list in my phone. I, I don't know about you guys. We're talking about organization. But if I didn't use the note system on my phone, I wouldn't remember anything. I have a category for groceries. I have a category for shopping. I have, And in that shopping, it has a subcategory for Dollar Tree, for whatever it is, um, where I'm going. And I, that's what keeps me organized for my chores for the day. I mean, all of it, or chores for the when I do my chores. The Reminders app and the um, Notes app is important to me because that's how I function. But I decided to buy a, bo a colored box based on the colored ribbon. So that is what I have done. And I think I still have two colors I need to get, but you can't see it here now, but then it's actually gonna be pleasing as well. So I will find a place to store them and I will have them out, but I'll be able to say, oh, I need some red ribbon. Okay, I need red ribbon. Actually, I don't see it here right now, but I'll, I do red. I'll do silver, um, you know. Then I also have boxes that are themed. So I'm trying to do it like, you know, black, blue, red, green, blah, blah, blah. But I'm also doing ones that are, yes, they each get their own, because I'm a color girl anyway. So I want color in this room. That just helps me see it, access it quickly, and hopefully get it all in the box. So that's what the challenge is, is the, is the getting it all in a box. So for this particular box, I had something came in this. That's obviously a very small box. That's, this is the typical size of a photo box. This was a smaller box. I don't know what I got in it. Well, guess what it became? I just used some of those cute little stickers I had. I think we did this on the leprechaun box last year for my grandson. Uh, used some of these stickers and I put it on there. And so now, obviously I don't have much in here. I know I have more than this, y'all. I can put things that I consider specifically um, St. Patrick's Day. So I actually have a couple little wood cutouts and then I have some other things. And then ribbon, that looks like Dollar Tree ribbon. So you get them on the spools like this, right? So I have done this for Valentine's. I've done it for St. Patrick's. I've done it for summer. I've done it for um, spring, Thanksgiving, those fall, not Thanksgiving, fall. Uh, Halloween so I have boxes for each of those specifically so that's how I'm doing my ribbon but you're gonna be saying hey Susan like this one I couldn't find an all blue one and I had this one from old if I find an all blue one I will look look how jam-packed it is that tells me I can't buy any more blue ribbon well that's probably not gonna happen but <laughs> but that's my blue ribbon because I already had this box um, and I might use this as a photo box one day, but that's what I, that's what I had. It wasn't being used. You need to be able to store more than that in there because they come on those big, huge things, right? So I figured a way for me, I'm a visual, like I said, I want to be able to see it. I want it to look nice in my space. I don't want it to just look junky. Um, but I also uh, need to be able to fit a lot in there because I don't, I'm not like a huge ribbon person, but if I see a pretty one, I'm going to buy it because I might need it for something. So, so that's what I was doing. So I'm gonna show you how we do, what I, my plan was to do this. And I stole this from someone else. I did not come up with this idea, but I, this is, a, when I saw it, I was like, perfect. So I'm gonna take some of my cardboard that I have saved and I am going to cut it so that it will fit in 
So I'm gonna cut it so it will fit in my inside of my box. So it does, it needs to be smaller width wise than your box, but it also needs to be, you think I could do this a little bit. I guess I could use the lid. It needs to be smaller than your box, right? And I'm not gonna do it, like I'm not gonna use that whole strip. I'm just gonna kinda, let's see. So I got that cut. I guess I could just cut it like that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the cardboard into smaller pieces and then I am going to, because right now all I've done is like put it in here loosely if I've taken it off the spool. If I take it off the spool, the reason why I have this box is because I have ribbons like that, right? And I have ribbons like that that have all these different colors in it. So I need them to be in their own space. So when I go to take it off the spool, I'm going to wrap it around a piece of cardboard that has been cut to fit in here. And depending on how big I need, I mean, I may only need it to be like that big and then wrap it around and stick it in here. I can get a whole lot more. And guess what? When I go to pull it out, I can pull out just that one particular piece of cardboard. And I can also know that I'm running out or that I need more because I might have multiple. You know, the Dollar Tree has really stepped up their game the last few at least the last year, maybe more before that, um, with some of their ribbons. So you can get some really nice ribbon. And sometimes I buy it twice because, yes, that's a rainbow ribbon category. Um, I'm trying to think what else I have over there. Uh, like here's an example of one that is summertime ribbon. Or maybe I did spring for this one. So look, I have rainbow, like pastel rainbow. I think this might have been like summer, spring. Watermelon, you know, I've only started sorting some through it, you know, not, you know, some fun summertime stuff. Um, and I can still label it as well, but just visually when I'm doing a project. So that's what I'm planning on doing with my ribbon and I need to get started that because I have a lot of them and I want to be able to see it, but also have it organized um, and have it cute. Get you some heavy duty scissors. These are not ones I use in the craft room. These are for the house. Um, and let's just see see I'm not sure how big I need I don't know we're just gonna guess we're just gonna guess you could make it as big or as small as you want obviously you don't want it to be deeper than um, you know you want it to be not as tall as your actual box because you want it to sit in there nicely um, but you may want to do multiples so I don't know whether you can decide how you want to measure this whether you want it to be this long and then I put multiples on there or each person each person <gasps> I'm calling my ribbon person. Each crap, each ribbon have its own little um, thing. So you can decide how big you want it. We're just gonna wing it. I have plenty of cardboard, but if this doesn't work, I can do another one. But, um, so let's just take, for example, this pretty little, look at how beautiful that is. Neon looking. Now, if you care about, oh, I need to know where I got that ribbon, then I'm sure you could write something on the card. If you're that, I am not. Um, you could write what it was called. If you thought you were going to replace it a lot, you could write what it was called or it's maybe it's a model number or where you got it from or how much you paid for it. If you're that organized, you can do that. You could just write it on here. Um, uh, cause obviously all that information is on here. I'm not that concerned. Um, I get it because of how it looks, not because I'm selling it or I need to replace it. But obviously if you need to, you might want and I don't have mine over here. I don't know if I've seen it yet. My tape, you probably might even wanna put a little piece of tape here to start. But if you have a organizing dilemma, an, an area that you need to organize that you are not sure, have a dilemma or something that you want, that you're having trouble figuring out how to organize, shoot me a message. I would be glad to brainstorm with you. I love thinking of ideas like that. Of, I, and I like to think outside the box, a different way to use things. See, look at that. Now I can see what I've got and it will easily slide in here. And again, if I wanted to, I can take the information and write it down there. Sometimes as creators, we have people ask us, oh my gosh, where did you get that ribbon? Or, oh my gosh, I love that paper, or, you know, whatever. And so you might wanna write the information down on the little card. Um, and then you would be able to pass that along to them. So it's up to you, but then recycle these. I, I'm not gonna keep them, I will tell you that. I do not keep these unless you have a cool craft project that you know you need it for, but um, 
if you have a cool craft project for it, save it and use it for that. But if not, recycle. Just recycle. So see how easy that was? Look at that, guys. Look at that. Now I have extra room, so if I need to buy more, I can. Or I could just write on there. But do you see how much more room I'm going to have? So with a lot of them, when I bought the boxes um, and I was putting the colored in there, pulling it out of my... Um, pulling it out of my bags that were overflowing because these spools fit even worse in the bags. I just will take it off the spool and I would just recycle all of those spools and I just threw the yarn, or I say yarn, it's, this obviously is ribbon. I have a whole nother thing of yarn over there. That's just a whole nother story. I'm not even getting into yarn. I doubt I will ever do this for yarn because my yarn spools are way too big. So I just have a big basket that I just keep shoving them in, so. Anyway, isn't this a cool idea, you guys? So easy, so fun. Um, but yeah, we can kill two birds with one stone. We're recycling, using something we already have on hand, and making things more accessible and visual. So it is very satisfying, and it is it is very, it seems time consuming as you set up your systems, but it's setting up the systems, I believe, that is the biggest challenge, and then getting started. And then just take those bite-sized pizzas. Bite, take one bite of that elephant at a time and say, you know what, um, set it aside and have it somewhere close by that you can easily access, something that you could just start working on. Just start, just start, that's the hard thing. I hope you've liked these organizing tips. Thanks for letting me come into your world today and share my ideas with you. Until I see you next time, guys, be safe, be healthy, and be blessed. Bye, guys.